you. Uh, yeah. And here we have Amanda <laughs> from New Zealand. Absolutely, he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Yeah. So say your name slowly again for everybody. My name is Matt Mazur. Matt that's, Mazur. That's the name I use when I'm in the States. Okay. The other one is only for Europe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, Matt Mazur. Matt Mazur. Oh, well, right. I started when I was uh, 13 years old, just uh, selling stuff on eBay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just, just selling stuff on eBay. Uh, you know, video game consoles, video games, some magazines, some uh, discs, some, you know, some uh, MP3 players, and uh, just made some money on the side. And uh, basically, it was just you know to go to the movies on the weekend, just to, pay, to be able to pay uh, my my uh, you know my, my days out because I was coming out at 13 years old. And then when I when I discovered info products, because you know in, in the early in the late 90s, early 2000s, it wasn't that uh, you know popular as it is now. Yeah. So I, I really started uh, creating my own info products about uh, three four years ago. Uh, I started in the health market and also in the, in the personal development market and um, I didn't really own a business at the, at the time, I just you know, had a couple of ebooks I was selling without, without any strategy, without any tactics, I just you know, had an affiliate account just selling a bit yeah. and two years ago I really decided to start you know, a real business with uh, staff and uh, uh, managers, I have like a manager in Switzerland, I have my tech teams in Asia. How much staff have you got now? I started with 11 yeah. and uh, now I just, uh, I, I find a lot of people because I just wanted to be with a smaller group of people. Right. So now we're just, uh, I have like two tech teams in Asia, we're about uh, four full-time people. Uh, one person in Switzerland, you know, handling the, the admin uh, yeah. admin stuff and uh, customer support as well. What was it like for you? Um, you were on the internet doing your own thing. What about your friends? Were they also interested, or were uh, they? No, at the beginning they were just you know laughing at me. You know, you know, how does the internet work? Yeah. But uh, funny thing is, you know, they had all the day jobs, like you know, they were you know delivering pizzas or working in restaurants, and uh, I wasn't. So. Uh, so they just they, they saw the difference at then, and uh, my parents were, were having fun as well because the, you know when I started, they obviously they were skeptical about the whole internet thing. So yeah. So Matt, what would you what would you say to parents whose kids want to get into this and maybe don't want to go to college or something like that? What would, what advice would you give to parents? Well, I would I, the best advice is just to be open-minded. I mean, if uh, I think if someone is still young, so I don't you know I don't have children. The, you know, the chance of choice, and I think that the future, you know, given the fact that the you know the economic situation is really terrible, I think the future is really you know having your own business. That's you know that's really what I teach, and that's how I got started on my own. So uh, just mm -hmm. having the having the courage just to uh, you know go against the currents and go against you know the job ideas and just create your own stuff. So cool. and if there's a 13 or 15 year old watching this little video on YouTube or on one of our sites. Amanda's are mine. What <laughs> advice would you give that child? I would just, you know, uh, I would just tell them to, to, to think about the future because that's how I, I thought. Uh, think about where you want to be in like five and ten, five or ten years. That's how I thought about uh, the whole thing when I was 15, uh, and I didn't see myself, you know, as uh, as an employee and uh, just, you know, living uh, in in a job basically, just working for someone else. So uh, I really wanted to be able to, you know, to travel and to do. To do the stuff I like to do, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, it's you, you can't live the li the ideal lifestyle if you're if you're in a job. So, I mean, uh, and here you are. You're 22 years old. We're on the Caribbean, and you're selling by yourself. And yeah. if somebody wanted to get a hold of you and ask questions, would that be okay? How yes. would they How would they get a hold of you? Uh, well, they can contact me by email. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, I have I have a complicated name, so it's M A T T H I A S M A Z U R at hotmail.com. Great. That's the address I, cool. I use. So uh, just you know, just email me. Thank you. Thank you for it. Second career. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I started uh, when I was young. Well, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> younger. <laughs> I'm still, yeah. When I was younger, I uh, I I was a professional tennis player. So the, my first goal was to become a professional tennis player and, and you know make make a living out of that. Yeah. So uh, I I traveled a lot when I was uh, well, 13. When I started traveling when I was 13, 14 years old with uh, a lot of older people uh, because when you you know when you, when your country considers you as a 
as uh, you know as potential uh, for, for the future they just send you around the world so uh, I traveled a lot and uh, met a lot of great people and uh, that's maybe what gave me you know the the, the taste of being independent and being able to, exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah being able to you know make Yo. uh, have, Sorry, the, have the best here. lifestyle possible so uh, and after the best thing is just to you know I wanted to make that happen without you know without uh, becoming a professional tennis player because I, I got injured so uh, the only way to do that was uh, with the internet yeah so uh, I think the, the best thing to do right now uh, is you know just to start something on the internet something that they love exactly yeah, yeah. Just cool thank you thank you so much that was way too fun